Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pteranodon Media's Show and Tell. What the hell? And today we're going to be talking about... Sorry, I'm hearing weird noises in my house. Just a little spooky. Anyway, could be the wind. It literally is the wind because it's a... There's a northern coming through and uh, it's cooling everything off. So you better wear your jackets and stay warm or you're liable to get something. But... We are talking about Super 7's Filmation, uh, He-Man of the Masters Universe, Shadow Weaver. Um, and, uh, yeah. The young girl that would become, that would come to be known as Shadow Weaver betrayed both her teacher, Norwin, and yada, 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 yada. Look at that nice illustration. I've always had a thing for, uh, Shadow Weaver, and I'm really happy to get the, happily, happily, I'm happy I'm happy to get this figure because it's just, um, well, I'll explain in a minute. I'm going to get my trusty opening tool and we'll be right back. And we have freed Miss Weaver. Miss Weaver, Miss Weaver, how are you? Can I borrow a cup of sugar? Thank you. You're such a great neighbor. Oh, Archie, <laughs> have you seen Mrs. Weaver? Be cool if uh, Shadow Weaver was um, was what's her name? Edith Bunker and uh, Archie Bunker was Hordak. Oh come on! Don't you know that uh, Skeletor comes in like Meathead? Um. <laughs> Oh, I think Adora's gonna be a very, very powerful sorcerer. And, um, <coughs> here we go, Shadow Weaver. Now, interestingly enough, they did, they did this a little bit different than the way Mattel did. And, um, I'm gonna explain to you. Now, okay, let's talk about some of the accessories here. Um, you get some wands. You get a green wand. You get a green wand. And you get a, uh, what is this? You get a yellow wand. I didn't watch a lot of She-Ra. I watched a lot of He-Man, but, you know, some of some of this stuff is kind of unfamiliar to me. So, uh, you She-Ra fans out there, you can answer that for me. Um, and I like the green wand. It just looks more, um, evil wandy. Uh, this, I'm not sure if this is supposed to go here or what, because it just kind of like this. First of all, the hand doesn't have a, an opening. And, um, I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to come out like Spider-Man? Um, so y'all can really help me out with that. Cause I just, I'm not sure. I haven't been paying attention. I've been slacking off in class. Uh, I haven't been following the boards, but please somebody, maybe this is supposed to be an attachment to this. Does this come off? Am I going to break this? No, I don't know. What, what do the instructions say? Hold on. There are no instructions. Okay. So that's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out later. Or you guys in the comments, help me. Help me. I'm having chest pains. This is Shadow Weaver. And she comes with a little stand. And, uh, ooh, she looks like she's walking closer to you. A uh, very good sculpt. You know what I like about this figure? Now, this is supposed to meant to emulate the look of the filmation line. And I've had some issues with that just because... I felt that we would have, the whole purpose of having the classics line to begin with was to kind of meld all styles together. So people got really, really picky and they said, well, we want, which is fine. You know, we, I want a, a head that looks exactly like Filmation He-Man. I want a, a head that looks exactly like Filmation Hordak. And we we're fine with that until Mattel decided we're going to bring out all this whole new line and redo the whole line. And they're all going to be Filmation style. Okay, wonderful. But here's the problem. We don't, we're not, we're not getting all the filmation characters. This is it. This is the last of the classic style, uh, collector's choice, club gray skull. These are the end. This is the last line. We aren't going to get other characters that we wanted. Um, and I mean, like Danova <laughs> or, you know, some of the other filmation characters that we would have hope to have gotten. No, I don't think we're even going to get, get a Filmation Leech. Only time will tell. But it looks for right now to be the end of the Filmation line. 
um, and uh, the, the Masters of the Universe Classics line for now. Um, that's just because we're bringing out, they're bringing out, we're bringing out, I'm part of Mattel. We're, they are bringing out the new, um, whatever it's called, Masters of the Universe Origins. And uh, to coincide with the Kevin Smith cartoon, that I'm very sure he's going to do an excellent job doing. Because we all went and saw... Ah, okay, I'm going to stop being negative. So, let's talk about the figure and the articulation. Because some of the people are still probably on the fence. Now, um, does the actual... There is there articulation? It seems like there... Okay, there is some articulation. What's interesting is that this is a nice matte painted overhand. No fingernail paint. That's interesting. Um... You got elbow bow. You got several joints here. You got this and the elbow over here. So this makes up for the lack of articulation in the legs. Now, um, I personally would have thought it would have been cool for them when they did the classics line to have some sort of alternate bot lower torso for like a standing shadow weaver, just for just for the fuck of it, you know. Um, what I do like about the Shadow Weaver is that I feel overall this is a better figure. And I'll explain why than the original Shadow Weaver, which skyrocketed in price. Uh, that was an exclusive. This was made available. That's what was shitty about the last Shadow Weaver. A lot of people... I remember Shadow Weaver. I didn't watch a lot of She-Ra. But even I remember Shadow Weaver. And I remember thinking how cool of a character she was. Just And um, you're going to note there's a lot of differences between this... And uh, very flexible here. And the other figure. Now, I got another Shadow Weaver. I didn't like the placement of the head. Um, now, you can remove the head, I, I believe, if you put it under hot water. It is two separate pieces. So, what you may have to do, if you get a Shadow Weaver who's who's got a little extra bit of forehead that you don't want, you may have to go inside, cut a little bit, put it in some hot water. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes you're not going to get the perfect figure. The other one looked to sap a slightly larger head, which is fine. That's why I kept that one in package and got one to open, right? So you do got some lower torso articulation and you got some upper torso articulation as well and some neck. And it's cool that this is a nice um, flimsier kind of material. It uh, doesn't hinder the articulation as much as one would expect. I, this is still killing me. Somebody please let me know. Is it, is it like a, is this like something that you're supposed to shoot out this way? Then why would it be green? Then why would this do this? Somebody explain this to me. I'm just so confused as to what it is. Is it a, no. So what I'm going to do now is bring her out with, because someone might say, I already got a Shadow Weaver. Why do I need this one? And I don't collect filmation. Um, well, there's a lot of reasons. Look at this Shadow Weaver. This is the Classics Shadow Weaver. Note, they're both great figures. This one has a lot more detail, a, d a deeper tone. It has the traditional Horde, uh, Hordak face right there. This doesn't. Uh, it, she's got fingernails. She doesn't have as much articulation on the arms. Now, Now that I'm looking at it, this this is back when the Masters Classics line had some, you know, additional paint apps, and it was nice. The, but very similar idea. This one is a little bit shorter, um, but there's more shape to the legs. Like they could, they didn't have to do that. They could have given us something like this. Would have looked a little bit more simple and cartoony. Now, the other thing that a lot of people were complaining about is that the cape attached right here, and it hindered some movement. Um, now, do I think this figure is worth? 150 200 bucks no no uh but the the fact of the matter was is that mattel at the time decided they wanted to make her an exclusive or you had to get the subscription service i think it was the subscription in order to get that and it sucked because she's like a mainline character she's like a main character from the she-ra cartoon and i would have liked to have added her to my horde collection when i was a kid uh just because she's got a really cool design and just a cool character. I remember her just being the creepiest, coolest character on the show. Kind of sexy, too. But, and, that, and speaking of sexiness, boy, does she have curves. That's one of my big things is she kind of... Look, I'm not trying to be a perv here, but in, if she wanted to look accurate to the cartoon, 
she wouldn't have had a uniboob as we saw here uh but so they kind of gave us a little bit of separation here looks more cartoon accurate and that's the weird juxtaposition of a character like shadow weaver she's got glowing eyes but how come she's got like some little nice little body down there so um i do think that super seven captured the character better this way and I think she also goes with the classics line, too. That's why I'm saying it's widely available. I do like the shape of her hood right there. That in itself is very sexy as well. Um, yeah, I like that a little bit better. Um, I like the position of the hand, the spell casting hand. So I, as much as I like this one with the detail, this is still going to go with my Horde care, uh, collection. If I didn't have this one, if I didn't have this one, this would have sufficed with the Classics collection. Um, case in point, I am going to bring out Hordak here. Look at Hordak. Observe. Hordak with Classic Shadow Weaver. Okay, cool. Yes. Not alone. Look at this Hordak with this Shadow Weaver. Yeah. They both... It works pretty well. It's not too cartoony. Um, now, a lot of people, if they, if they have too much of a sheen to their figures, a lot of people have gotten a matte spray and gone in there to kind of reduce that sheen. But this doesn't have as much as, like, you know, Filmation He-Man. Um, so, yeah, just a very impressive figure. It goes well with this. Let me... Um, now that I'm done sounding like a pervert, let me bust out old Hordak here. Old Snort Face. What was his nickname? I don't know. I'm just making that up. Um, I had him. I had him a while ago. I swear. Oh, here he is. Filmation Hordak. Let's put the two lovers together. Oh, wait. Is this possible? No, this is not for that. I wish. That would have been cool. The two lovebirds. They look great together. They look fantastic together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally. This is what you wanted. And you got it. Uh... I would highly recommend this figure, even though the price point is a lot more than what it used to be. You used to be able to get a Classics for, what, $20, 22 $25. Now you're going to go on Big Bad Toy Store if you didn't pre-order her. And um, you're going to spend about $45 to $50. Bucks. So, but I'd still recommend her. I still think she's a badass, versatile figure. And um, I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. I would buy another one if I had the chance and the money. Um, if there's anything I would have done to have fixed this is... No, it's to figure out what the fuck this thing is for here. Jesus, it's killing me. Um, so let's put both Hordak, Hordax and Shadow Weavers together. Hordak, Hordak, Shadow Weaver, Shadow Weaver. The gang's all here. Yes. So, like I said, if you missed out on, on this one right here, this one would be a suitable replacement. Um, just because her design lends herself to be, uh, like I said, versatile and um, and workable. Because we did get some Filmation-esque characters in the Classics line that were meant to integrate with the Classics figures. And they were less detailed. But they seem to work out. Fangman comes to mind. Uh, Icer. So she reminds me of that. That kind of in-betweener thing. And I think they kind of should have gone more with that. I think this is a great figure. I can't say anything more about how awesome it is. Oh, y'all probably... You perverts out there probably want to take a look at her booty. Yep. She got a little booty. That's it. Uh, no, again, no articulation. Just real solid right there. And the plastic is really flimsy. And, um... Awesome spell casting hand. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I, I think they put a lot of detail in that hand. I think maybe just nitpicky, I would have wanted the fingernails black. And uh, I'm happy I got her. I don't regret it. Um, all right, folks. Then someone's going to make a meme. This could be us, but you're too busy talking to other girls. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'm just really excited. Sorry for uh, blabbing on. Uh, but we'll see you next time. Take care, and we'll see you later. Ow!